Apo Francis has responded publicly for the first time to questions about the Vatican's declaration on blessings for same-sex couples. The remarks came as part of a wide-ranging interview on Italian TV Sunday night. EWTN News Vatican correspondent Colin Flynn has more. A very good evening, Tracy. In an interview with Italian television, Pope Francis said that he hoped hell was empty. This interview lasted almost an hour, and when the interviewer asked Pope Francis how he imagined hell was, the Pope answered by saying, what I'm going to say is not dogma of faith, but my own personal view. I like to think of hell as empty. I hope it's that way. Now, as you can imagine, these comments drew a large and mixed reaction online. And when Pope Francis was asked about the recent controversy caused by the Vatican's declaration that priests could now bless same-sex couples, Pope Francis said that at times decisions are not accepted and that people don't really understand what they are criticizing. He went on to say that the Lord blesses everyone, 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 those who come, every person. When he was asked about what scares him, he answered the escalation of war, saying that the potential for nuclear weapons, that scares me. The capacity for self-destruction that humanity has today. Speaking about the war between Israel and Gaza, Pope Francis said that he talks to a Catholic parish in Gaza every day on the phone. Pope Francis also touched on the possibility of a trip to his home country of Argentina. He's never been home since becoming Pope in 2013 and was recently sent a formal invitation by Argentina's new president. He said that he wanted to go and that he would like to go and that he could possibly do that later this year, but added it was a difficult time in the country at the moment. Finally, when he was asked why he always asks people to pray for him, Pope Francis said, because I'm a sinner and I need God's help to remain faithful to the vocation he has given me. In Rome, Colm Flynn, EWTN News Nightly.